He is crazy. He is old. But is he a coot? It's time for the crazy old coot. Good morning, it's your crazy old coot here. How you doing? I've been doing good. Just got back from a swim. Been hot up here. Uh, so today I'm finally going to get this out. Um, basically, I'm going to compare my new R7 3700X to my old R5 2600. Um, I know it's not a fair comparison, but for those people who have a 6-core 12-threaded CPU and are thinking about going to an 8-core 16-threaded CPU, this will be good information. I had lots of fun building it into my new Red Dragon. Um, had issues, as always. Um, not to mention I dropped the CPU not once, but twice, and had to spend two hours with a pair of micro screwdrivers straightening out bent pins. But we got it in, and we got it going, and we got it running. I was going to put it into the B450 Tough Gaming motherboard, but after that fiasco, we decided to uh, just throw it in the X570. So... Without further ado, here's what my results are. Okay, on my uh, Cinebench R15 um, 2600, did 1375 multi 168 single, where the 3700X uh, was 2118 and uh, 200 for a 54% improvement on multi-thread and a 19% improvement on single thread. On Cinebench R20, the 2600 got 3,076 for multi and 411 for single. The 3700X got 4,823 multi and 494 single for a 56% improvement in multi and a 20% improvement in single. In superposition at 720p low, the 2600 scored 23,784 with uh, max frames per second of 242.5, average 177.9, and minimum of 99 where the 3700X scored 29,403 with uh, a max of 318.3 an average of 219.9 and a minimum of 114.7 so the 3700X scored 23% better overall with a 31% better highs, a 23% better average, and a 16% better lows. Now in V-Ray, the 2600 did it in 99 seconds. The 3700X did it in 68 seconds. And that is a 45% improvement So, um, yeah, it's a rendering beast. And now I did two uh, gaming tests. One that's notoriously bad for AMD products and one that's notoriously good. And uh, Assassin's Creed Origins at 720p medium. The 2600 did a high of 112 frames per second. An average of 78 frames per second and a low of 28. Where the 3700X scored 136 frames per second max, 86, per, 86 frames per second average, and 33%, 33 frames per second, 33 frames per second. Spit it out right. 
Okay. And then that is a 21% improvement on the highs, 10% improvement on the mediums, and 18% on the lows. And then we did Strange Brigade, and it was strange. Okay. The max on the 2600, and this was Strange Brigade 700, 720p high. And the 2600 scored 381.8 on high, 247.0 on average, and a, a low of 131, where the 3700X did 492.8 on the high, 248.7 on the average, and 132.3 frames on the lows. So that's a 29% improvement on the highs. It is a 0% improvement on the average and only a 1% improvement on the lows. So my guess is you really don't need eight cores on Strange Brigade and uh, six is probably fine. And we'll probably do a study on this coming up. I was thinking, shut off two cores on the 3700X and run a bunch of just gaming tests and then enable all eight cores and run the same test and, and see how do gamers really benefit for for the extra two cores and four threads. So this is just a quickie to go over. There's lots of things to do. Um, like I said, I had a lot of fun and you know, and a lot of fights. I've been playing, I got Ryzen Master finally working. I had to go in the reg editor and delete a folder and then I had to reinstall and reboot and, and it worked. I found it on the internet how to do that because I was getting driver errors on my AMD Ryzen Master. So um, I, I'm thinking the ultimate gaming PC would have two cores, four threads clocked really high, like 4.5 gigs, and then four threads, eight, four cores, eight threads clocked reasonably, like at 4.2 gigs. And that way, the single heavy core usage would go on the on the fast cores where the fill-in stuff would go on the uh, the slower cores. Um, I was trying to do that in Ryzen Master and it, it, it spit up at me. It wouldn't let me do it. But I'm going to try again. So anyways, I've rattled on long enough. Uh, this is your crazy old coot wishing you a good evening.